Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about double delay line canceller. So, in the previous videos, I have explained the delay line canceller and the problem with the delay line canceller in MT radar, <coughs> like blind speed. Now, in this video, I will explain double delay line canceller, which will do two times of delay process. Okay. So, before going to double delay line process, what is the drawback in the delay line cancer what is the necessity to move to the double delay line cancellation in the delay line canceller the output of this empty radar is applied to the delay line canceller uh, so that we have got the output of the delay line canceller that means we have given the output from the receiver to the delay line canceller in the delay line canceller we have a subtractor so subtractor will be having inputs like v1 and v2 see the same explanation has already been given in the previous videos i am not giving the calculation part again here so just <coughs> i am taking the output equation directly two times of k sine amplitude part is nothing but pi f dt into cos 2 pi f d t minus capital t by 2 minus some arbitrary constant phi naught. This is the equation we have got at the output of subtractor. This equation, this uh, signal will be passing through the full wave rectifier and it gives a complete DC signal. Now, in this factor, the sin pi f dt is nothing but it decides the amplitude like 2k sin pi f dt it decides the amplitude and cos 2 pi f dt t minus uh, t minus t by 2 minus phi naught this decides the phase information when we are drawing the frequency corresponds characteristics of this single delay line canceller what is the response we have got so we will draw the single delay line canceller frequency response like this is the amplitude now the response will be like this that occurrences of every pi by t is equal to 0 like uh, pi by t is equal to 0 or pi 2 pi 3 pi and so on for every occurrence of this uh, uh, integral multiples of pulse vibration frequency the response becomes 0 like this okay that is that case is known as blind speed i have already explained that topic also now see here from first waveform to second waveform in between what the general thinking what is the purpose of delay line canceller what is the purpose of mt radar mt radar is especially designed to detect the moving target and eliminate all stationary targets so the signal which is there the passband which is there in the output of the frequency response that is especially for only moving targets and all the other stationary characters are being eliminated in the remaining portion that means this part whatever the shown signal these parts are especially for only allowing the moving targets into the mt radar output and all other signals are being eliminated in the remaining areas so these pass bands are for moving targets moving target information can be allowed into the output of mta radar by passing through this pass bands what about the remaining areas this particular area and this area this area is for clutter elimination that means this is the area in which the clutters are being present okay but if you consider the frequency response it is not that much sharp edge to eliminate the clutters okay that means if you are uh, much more giving the that means delay if we are doing the delay line cancel and two times then it will be having more clutter part elimination than the single time suppose i am i am saying here if you do not understand again i will draw here see I am taking this time I am taking only two signals here this is the first pass band for the moving targets this is the second time pass band for the moving targets in between these two moving targets one blind speed is there this is the blind speed okay that is a different case now <coughs> it, it is the place where we are having the clutter I will uh, draw with a different color 
see this is the place where you are having the clutter this is the clutter position okay so this clutter has to be eliminated clutter is nothing but stationary target echo that is unnecessary concept in our case okay so this clutter has to be eliminated but what about the part of the collector that pass comes into the pass band? This is the area that comes into the pass band. Okay. So the area which covers into the pass band due to clutter has to be eliminated. Because no delay line canceller is allowed to pass clutter information. Only it has to pass moving target information. All the stationary clutters have to be eliminated when passing through the delay line canceller. So single delay line canceller may not be efficient to eliminate clutter information in this way because see this is the part of the area that comes into the output of MDA radar. Okay. So we need to pass the output of single delay line canceller to the second time so that the second delay line canceller will eliminate the clutter part more effectively. So that it will be like this. The resultant signal will be like this when we are using double delay line cancellation. Okay. It will be like this. Okay. So when you are drawing a clutter like this, this is the clutter part. Then it will be having very less area into the pass band. Okay. So in this way, double delay line canceller helping us to eliminate the clutters when compared to moving target echoes. Let us see how these uh, delay line, double delay line canceller works and what is the block diagram of double delay line cancellation. See, this is the double delay line canceller. We can draw the double delay line canceller in this way or else in this way also. Okay, so double delay line cancellation. We are doing the delay two times. We are, we are applying the delay in the input signal. That means output of receiver. We are passing through the delay line canceller two times. That means two times we need to apply the delay. Okay. Whatever it may be. Uh, the delay line canceller can be. This is the first delay line canceller. This is the first delay line canceller. And this is the second delay line canceller. Okay. We can use this diagram. Or else we can use this diagram also. Okay. I will tell you how these two are equal. Uh, you may have a doubt that how these two are working and uh, whether these two diagrams gives the same output or not. I will tell you. Take for example, take a signal X of T. Take a signal X of T at the input of this double delay line canceller. When the X of T is passing through this delay line, what is the output appear here? X of T will be having experiencing with a delay of T, pulse iteration period. So, X of T minus capital T and the same input is applied, the direct input is applied here at the input of this summer. So, what is the purpose of this summer? Summing circuit will sum, uh, add these two signals. But here you need to keep this point in mind. One signal is applied with minus 1. So, minus 1 is the amplitude that should be multiplied with the amplitude of this X of T minus T. So, what is the signal that comes over here? That comes here. Now, X of T. This is X of T. And minus of this one. Minus X of T minus capital T. Okay. Now, the same signal is acting as the input for the second time delay line canceller. Now, what is output? Again, do the same. The sig this signal will be having one more delay of T. So, X of first signal will be having one delay and second signal is having two times delay one delay with the previous circuit and another delay with this circuit so x of t minus capital t minus x of t minus two times of t t minus t it is two times of t and uh, what is the signal appeared here the same signal what is the input x of t minus x of t minus capital t now what is the output total output is equal to this signal minus this signal minus minus of this one so x of t minus see minus x of t minus t and this minus one will be multiplied with this one so minus t minus t so two times of x of t minus t minus of minus plus this minus becomes plus x of t minus 
2t. Okay, this is the output of first double LLN cancellor circuit. Coming to the second double LLN cancellor, consider the same x of t as the input here. Let us check whether the output is equated equal in both the conditions or not. So, x of t is experiencing with a delay like x of t minus t. Now, the input c is coming here x of t minus t and the same output is coming here x of t. Okay, so the x of t is applied directly here also. And what is the condition, what is the signal or uh, amplitude here? It is x of t minus t, x of t minus t is passing through the delay line again. It is having a delay of x of t minus 2 times of t. So, if you apply all these to this summer, now the summer in the previous case, summers we have taken 2 input summer, now it is 3 input summer with the amplitude multiplied by 2 times here, minus 2. Okay, let us write one by one. So, first one is x of t plus what is this x of t minus 2t x of t minus 2t and this one is minus 2 into x of t minus t. So, minus 2 into x of t minus t. Observe the output waveforms output uh, equations of these two x of t x of t minus of x of t minus t minus of x of t minus t is there and x of t minus 2t x of t minus 2t is also there. So, in this way, double delay line canceller can be designed in this first way or else in the second way. This is the block diagram of the double delay line canceller. Where the input is coming from? Input is coming from the output of MTI radar. Now, let us see the characteristics of this uh, frequency response characteristics of this one. See, the solid line indicates single cancellation. Single cancellation is due to single delay line canceller. If you see the single delay line canceller, what I explained in the previous case, clutter rejection is very less. So, more amount of clutter part is present over there. Okay. Uh, so, see, this is the part presented due to single delay line canceller, clutter. This is the amount of clutter that comes into the passband of the single delay line canceller. Okay. But what happens due to the usage of double delay line cancellation? Double delay line cancellation leads to only this much of clutter that is present over there. This is due to <coughs> double cancellation. And this is due to single cancellation. Okay. So, what happened now? The amount of clutter that presents into the passband is very less due to the uses of double cancellation double delay line canceller okay so in this way double delay line canceller is helping us to eliminate the clutter in the MTA radar okay thank you